This is a shoulder lateral raise. So I got a light set of dumbbells here. I'm gonna get a slight bend of my torso, not all the way into a hinge, slight bend. I'm gonna rotate these dumbbells out. So just the back edge is hitting my, my legs there. And then I'm gonna come up, pause, back down. Trying to come down a little slower. Then I go up right to that starting position. So let's break this down. Often we, we see in the gym, it's like a classic bodybuilder exercise, just standing there doing some raises here, maybe raises to the front. They're trying to work some aspects of the deltoid on the shoulder muscles. And so I find that those can contribute to some shoulder pain because they're not always done in a biomechanically correct way. So what we're gonna do with this version is I'm gonna take these dumbbells and I'm just gonna rotate them out just a bit. So easy way to think about that is the butt of the dumbbell should be up against your legs. I'm just rotate it out a little bit. That's gonna pre-position us into a little bit of shoulder external rotation, which for most people is gonna feel a little bit more comfortable. And then I'm just gonna get a slight hinge forward kind of athletic position that's gonna let me access some of the muscles on the back of my shoulder, particularly the upper trap, some of the other parts of the rotator cuff, the deltoid there, rather than just the muscles on the front. And so those two are the key. And I'm gonna keep a light bend in my, or a slight bend in my elbows, and just a light grip on these dumbbells. I'm gonna come here, and I come up and back down. The last thing I'm thinking about as I come up is I don't wanna, on this exercise in particular, I don't wanna just get my shoulders down and back. I actually wanna let my shoulders elevate or almost shrug up a little bit at the top. So often the upper trap is demonized for being uh, overactive or tight or, or we don't wanna work that. But it's a, it's a key big prime muscle of the shoulder, really important for some overhead pressing, for any type of overhead work. And so working the upper trap here is actually gonna be a good thing. So a little bit of a shrug at the top is gonna to help our scapula rotate up, get some upward rotation. So just to show that again here, that position, I'm allowing my shoulder blades to come up a little bit. If I get a little bit of shrug, a little bit of burn through here, that's actually gonna be a good thing. So this is our, our lateral raise. I typically don't program front raises very much at all. The other two raise versions that I do is I'll do a Y raise, we have a video on that, and then I'll do a reverse fly where I'm all the way in the hinged position. So those are the three different versions of the common shoulder raises that you'll see that I think are gonna provide you some optimal shoulder health, strength, it's gonna make you feel good, and hopefully it's gonna be a nice accessory lift that'll get you performing better on some of your other main movements.